ちょっとあの撮影ね先ほどコラボしてちょっといろいろ話しててまあなんか思いつきで今撮影してるんですけどちょっと英語でもカジュアルにトークしてみたら面白いんじゃないかということで引き続き上田さんに来ていただいておりまして本当にこうカジュアルに英語でもね話してみたらいいんじゃないかなと思いました事前の打ち合わせにはなかったですそうなんです<笑>恐縮ながらということで、はい Do you mind if I speak English? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, what I want to ask you here is like, for example, your background of English study. I guess you might spend lots of time, you have lots of resources for improving your English proficiency.、Mm-hmm. How did you become like that? How did you slow yourself into it, studying English? So,、right. what was your motivation?、Mm-hmm. Like, what was your trigger? Okay. Well, the primary reason why I started to learn English is because simply because I wanted to communicate with people、mm-hmm. from all over the world.、Um, I have two very、um, I have two good friends who could speak English very well, and I think I wanted to be like them.、Mm. So that's <clears throat> how I started to study English. Okay, like you had a respect to those guys. Right. You know, they spoke English very fluently. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Where do they come from? Well, one of them is Japanese, and the other friend is from Korea.、Mm-hmm. And they both speak English very fluently. Okay. And yeah, so when I started learning English, I、um, learned pretty much everything from how to study English and, you know, Like basically, how to study English from them. Yeah, and that was when I was in university. University? Yeah. It is when、uh, you met them at university? Well,、um, long story short,、uh, one of my friends is、um, uh, from my junior high school, and we went to the same high school and university. And the other one is, like I said earlier, from Korea. And so, I met him when I was about like 18. 18? Yeah. I think almost everyone、mm. has the same kind of you know, goal. As、mm. you mentioned, like, you know, everyone wants to be like, a native speaker.、Yeah. They want to speak English as fluently as possible.、Mm. But、uh, we have like, lots on our plate every day. True.、Yeah. Many things you know, we have to do every day, including house chores. You know, Yeah.、Uh, spend pretty much like, you know, eight hours, ten hours for the company.、Mm. Um, but you, I guess, so you spend a huge amount of time,、mm-hmm. your resource getting improved on your English proficiency and, you know, reaching the current level,、mm. as well as getting、uh, such a high score on IELTS, like 8.5.、Mm-hmm. It's incredible. I really want to know how, you know, what. Has driven you so much really into studying、yeah. English? I am primarily motivated by a couple of different factors.、Mm. Um, one is, like I said earlier, I really want to communicate with people with、yeah. different backgrounds with my own、yeah. words. And another reason is that now that I teach English,、yeah. I want to go through the same thing as my students. So, I really want to know how hard and challenging it is to improve your English,、mm-hmm. especially when you have a job and family and everything. And the last reason is that I want to be better than my past self. I want to be a better English speaker than I was,、mm-hmm. say, a year ago, a couple of years ago.、Mm-hmm. So, I want to continuously improve my skills.、Yeah. You don't look at any like, practical merit you could receive from、yeah. getting improved on your English proficiency anymore. Like, you just focus、mm-hmm. on、mm-hmm. improving yourself and be better than、uh, you are. Yeah, I mean, that's a part of the reason, of course.、Um, but, you know,、um, Becoming more fluent in your target language means that you can better communicate with people.、Mm. And having a higher score on the IELTS exam means 
I may get more potential、mm. students in the future. So, yeah, there are some advantages、mm-hmm. to you know, having a better language skill.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right after graduation,、mm-hmm. you started working for the company, right? Yes,、mm-hmm. I did. Yeah, right. So, what made you like, set up your own business? Well, <laughs> <laughs> so, first of all, I had always wanted to become an independent freelancer. Okay. I wanted to have freedom. You know, I wanted to have control over where to live, what to do, who I work with. So I think I had already made up my mind、mm. about. When you graduated?、Um, when yeah, you even when I was in university. Okay. I think I was quite determined. Okay. Um, because my father is self employed. So, you know. Why did you need to go straight into that road and then pass? Well, I don't remember、um, all the details, but I guess I wanted to be an interpreter、mm-hmm. back then. And in order to become an interpreter, you need to have some experience. Professional experience. Yeah, like experience like in working for you know, some organizations.、Mm. Because nobody would hire you know, a <clears throat> newly graduate student、mm. for an interpreter. So, yeah, so I think I wanted to have like some experience. And then I realized that everybody working for the company, I mean, at least in my company,、um, spoke good English、um, to do their business.、Mm. So, and they basically,、um, You know, they don't hire interpreters、mm-hmm. because their employees speak English instead.、Um, then I decided to not to become an interpreter.、Mm-hmm. And I don't know exactly when, but at some point I decided to pursue my career in this English education field.、Mm. And yeah, I guess that was back in 2019. When I first took the IELTS exam、mm. and I became more and more familiar with the exam, and I, now I teach students studying for the exam. So, what do you think of English education、mm-hmm. in Japan? Because I see many guys saying that、mm-hmm. you know, it's poor, useless,、right. students do not have enough practice、mm-hmm. speaking in class.、Mm-hmm. So, this is why.、Uh, You know, Japanese English level is quite low、mm-hmm. because of that. I see many of those kind of posts, especially on X or SNS.、Yeah. What do you think of it? First of all,、uh, there are, of course, pros and cons about you know, how the English language is being taught at the moment in Japan. But I would say it's always, always nice to have some rudimentary knowledge、mm. about. Whatever subjects,、yep. from mathematics to science to English. So, but there is certainly a better way to teach English, I believe, personally, because、um, English is now taught for standardized exams,、yep. right? To basically、um, pass exams to enter. High schools, universities.、Um, but I think our goal should be、um, to, I don't know, to use the language for more practical <clears throat> purposes. You mean it shouldn't be like in so much academic,、mm-hmm. it shouldn't be studied, taught for academic purposes? I mean, it's okay to. Teach English for academic purposes, but、um, well, it's should okay. Be, it should be more focused on you know, the practical side, like allowing the student to speak yeah. French through classes. Right.、Um, I, I think that would be ideal,、mm. but at the same time, it would be so much more challenging、mm. to objectively assess. 
uh, you know, student point. skills, get right? Yeah. Oh, you're good at communication. You get A. And, but you know. <laughs> how, how about introducing like you know exams like TOEFL, IELTS to evaluate students level? I, I think that would be a good idea um, because if we did introduce um, exams like them, then um, students' focus uh, is going to be more on you know practical side. Yes. Mm -hmm. So. But one un hurdle to overcome is those exams are so much harder, I mean, more difficult okay. than the other exam that we are more familiar with. Mm -hmm. So, yes, but, but still, I think it's a good idea to introduce yeah. those exams. I do agree with, you know, what you said a while ago, like, you know, Mm -hmm. setting up, building up the fundamental, basic understanding of English mm -hmm. at the beginning is really important. Yeah. Right? To strike a strike up a conversation, mm -hmm. you always need, you know, basic grammar, exactly. voca vocabulary, yeah. and that. So that's pretty much important, I think. But at the same time, <clears throat> I feel like uh, there should be more opportunity for mm -hmm. students to speak English in class. Mm -hmm. So this is why introducing, right? TOEFL, yeah. IELTS, TOEIC SW might be also nice. Yeah, of course. I mean, SW is um, relatively easier mm. than the IELTS exam or maybe TOEFL. Yeah, so like eliminating Daigaku mm. uh, like so academic tests, mm -hmm. and then introducing those kind of communication like exams including communication mm -hmm. of IELTS instead of those Daigaku Nijishiken. Yeah. It's ideal. That's what I think. That would be ideal. I mean, you know, so many um like red tape involved yeah. <laughs> in that kind of process. Right. But so yeah. it takes lots of time you need. Yeah, right. Uh, true. And some people maybe um against the idea of introducing you know different exams the reason why i was able to like learn english very effectively when i started to learn english um was because i had you know all this basic knowledge about the language um so i really appreciate the current educational mm. system. Me but, too. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah. yeah. So, but it's just that you know, this system could potentially be better mm. with the right approach. True. So. I'm pretty agree with that. Pros and cons, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Hi. ということで。ということで。ちょっとね、このスペースの時間が。そうですね。もうそろそろ。来てしまったので、こんなところなんですけど。なかなか面白い話ができたんじゃないかな。<笑><笑>ちょっと、はい。お、じゃあ、お疲れ様です。